Hi, we're back with another video for you today. I'm going to need a little bit of assistance because um, you may have seen I have actually broken my wrist over the weekend. So Megan here is obviously going to help out and I'm going to do the best I can. We still want to try and bring you videos each weekday. Um, so I'm going to show you what you're going to need for today's project. So what you'll need for today's project is two pieces of willow, one for each person. Um, so you can see the willow is at the back here. And um, we're choosing this because it's bendy. So you'll need to, uh, some bendy willow. I've picked some ivy leaves from our garden, but you can have any leaves that you want. You may not want to use leaves, you can use something else and that'll become clear later. And I've got some secateurs, some scissors, and some green and brown wool. Um, you don't have to use green and brown, you can use string, but you'll see why I'm using those colours later. So first with your piece of willow, bend it round so that it goes overlapping, like Megan has shown you, and uh, you can either twist it together or you can tie it together like we have into a rough circle. Next with your green wool or your string, you need to make a loop of it like this. Um, that is going to be the height of your ring all the way to the bottom and leaving a little bit at the bottom. And then you're going to cut it here and I'll show you what to do next with it. So with your loop of green wool, you're going to just put it over the top and you're going to pull your two ends through that loop like so. So it attaches onto the top of the um, loop and you're going to need to put several, several of these across the top. So you can see Megan making a loop over the willow and then threading the two hanging bits of wool through that loop so that it becomes fixed. And keep going to have a few more across the top. Okay, so you can see that I've got my green wool tied across the top here and I've tied on um, some brown wool just around the green strands about two thirds down and this will become the trunk of my tree and I want to secure it on the other side. So you can see Megan has now got all her green wool spread out across the top of her willow frame and she has tied brown wool about two thirds of the way down um, the green wool to hold them, those pieces all together. This is gonna become the trunk, but we now need to secure the green wool at the bottom of the willow frame. So you're literally going to put all of those strands over, not with the brown one, leaving the brown one separate and we'll, you'll see why in a moment. We're going to just do a really basic overhand knot around that willow at the bottom, just like so, pulling those threads through and you want it to be right on the bottom there. Pulling it tight, like so. And it might need adjusting, that's okay you'll have that tree trunk attached to the bottom. The next thing you're going to do is use your brown wool to wind around those green strands that are tied to the bottom and that will become your tree trunk. And once you get to the bottom of it, you can just tie it off at the bottom like you did with those other green strands. So once you've tied it to the bottom, you can trim off any excess wool or you can leave some at the bottom that can be the roots of your tree. It's up to you how you'd like it to be finished. So here is Megan's tree trunk and branches. So now you've got a bit at the top that you can use for weaving, which is where the leaves come in. Next, we're gonna take the leaves and you're going to weave them through the strings at the top. This is going to form the canopy of your tree. 
remember when we're weaving um, with the next leaf you need to do go the opposite way to what you've done before and then it will secure different leaves so you can see I've woven different leaves in there different ivy leaves in and out um, to form the canopy this could be done with more wool it could be done with bits of green paper it could be done with pieces of grass it can be done with all sorts of things bits of material it's really up to you but the idea is to form a bit of a canopy and you could do this for different trees during different seasons um, and think about what you could add to the canopy to represent that so you can see Meg has threaded those different shaped leaves. I think that one works actually a little bit better. And we've put a little loop of wool on the top so that it can be hung in our forest school area like this one. This is my one with the ivy leaves spinning around there. And there we are. Some beautiful tree mobiles made out of willow and with a bit of weaving incorporated. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have a go yourself, we'd love to know how you get on. Remember to leave us pictures and comments about how you've done it. If you've enjoyed our videos, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, Forever Green Forest School. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you get notifications when we upload new content. Thanks for supporting us, bye. Bye.